The Navigator, a medieval odyssey, is a 1988 release New Zealand historical fantasy directed by Vincent Ward. It certainly is. Uh, don't forget to click down below to subscribe if you like what you're watching. It's basically it's set in the 14th century in medieval Britain. At that period, the Black Death was making its way around the country, killing off loads of poor old medieval folk. <laughs> yeah. It focuses on a, on a particular village, the, their inhabitants trying to, well, to, to survive, effectively. Um, and there's a young boy called Griffin who keeps having visions about um, something. <laughs> it's quite strange visions about how to, to f- survive the Black Death. And it basically focuses on him uh, erecting a spire on top of a cathedral. Um, which they don't have where they are, so um, it's in a, in a strange, far-off land. Somehow, he convinces some of the villagers to follow him into a cave and to uh, basically dig into, into the earth and come out the other side. And when they do that, they come out in 20th century New Zealand, <laughs> obviously, as you do. <laughs> so... And then they are on their quest to raise this spire on, on top of a cathedral to ward off the Black Death. Yes. Which, you know, sounds obvious when you say it out loud. It does, <laughs> totally. Of course, yeah. that's what you do. So, yeah, it's sort of the ultimate sort of fish-out-of-water tale um, with them encountering cars and stuff <laughs> from the 20th century, which didn't exist in the 14th, um, which is basically most things, to be honest. Well, yes, um, exactly. Except churches. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. Um. <laughs> um, it's quite weird, isn't it? It is a strange it's one. It's a strange yeah. one. I mean, obviously, we're, so it's, this is Vincent Ward, mm-hmm. who <clears throat> most of you probably know him from, well, he did the Robin Williams film, um, What Dreams May Come, which is about, I can't remember, it's about, I think he goes to heaven and hell. Looking well, he's trying to wife, rescue, rescue his wife from the underworld or something. Something, isn't he? Like, something that, like that, yeah. Right? And his first film before this was Vigil which I've never seen, because he's also well-known because he was the guy who was originally brought in to do Alien 3. Uh, itself was kind of, was it like a, a planet, a monastery with monks. Yeah. This was his first kind of big film, and, uh, you know, he's, he's, I think at the time, a lot of people said he was kind of, a, you know, an original visionary filmmaker. I think there's a few nods in here to, like, kind of films like The Seventh Seal, you know, Ingmar mm-hmm. Bergman, films like that. Um, some of his, I mean, so the film starts when it's in the medieval period. You start in black and white, yeah. And then when you go into the into the twentieth century, um, it's it's in color. It's quite stylistically shot, yeah. I think it's definitely you know quite interesting to look at. Um, I mean, it felt a bit hurts, I guess, to me, particularly the medieval parts. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can see that too. I think. Yeah, I mean, I think you're kind of slightly in art territory. Mm-hmm. Weird, definitely. <laughs> um, I think what I like about it actually because. Obviously, it's, it's kind of a time travel film, and I'm a big fan of time travel films anyway. Yep. That whole idea of, you know, going, or in this case, forward, but, you know, going back to times we've never seen before is always interested, love history and all that. Um, but I, what I like about this is actually, you know, you suggest there's lots of things, obviously, in the 20th century, but it's actually quite, I suppose, because they are themselves, they're from a village, they'd be like, you know, they'd be industry people, they'd, mm. they'd work the land, they'd be blacksmiths and, and you know, people like that. Um, and when they go into the 20th century, you see those kind of, you know, so you see like trucks at work and you yeah. see um, yards and industry type things. So there's more of that than that kind of everyday person in the in the 20th century. And it's also at night as well. So yeah. it's kind of things that are going on during the night time. I mean, that's the thing is it, the concept, it, it sounds like it would be right for sort of com- comedy value. Yeah. Um, but it's not that at all. It no. doesn't, there's no... Yeah, there isn't really any comedy in there at all, is there? Particularly? No, there's a couple of like a couple of the characters. I mean, when they when they encounter the the present day guys, then there's obviously they find them funny, but neither of them, you know, they don't think they're in the future. No, there's none of that. There's and the, none and of that. The, and the and the guy, you know, the New Zealand guy, don't think they don't say, "Are oh, you from the past?" or something, even though they think these guys are obviously very strange and dressed. Dressed like many roads and stuff like that. Yes. Um, but there's not really so in that sense, it's not your traditional time travel film or your or like I said, fish out of water. It's not your it's not your typical. No, I mean if you haven't seen this film that. and you're and you're coming to it thinking, um, oh, it's another time uh, Back to the Future. Mm. It's not that at all. Um, it's much more. It's, well, it's not really about that, is it? It's that. No, it's not about time like, travel at all. No, not really. That's, I mean, they just happen to. Um, go through this hole in the ground 
in the earth and turn up in yeah and they they don't even think they they think they've gone to this kind of this city that yeah. that this kind of I think they they call it God City and when they first come out they see all these lights which mm. are uh, initially they think of fires burning. Um, they think they're going to this kind of sacred place that is free of the plague, mm. and I think that's what's interesting because I think back in the in the medieval time, obviously this is a world where people believe in gods and they believe in magic. They'll do anything to survive, mm. and they've got this horrendous thing, the, the Black Death, the, the plague coming across. Uh, I think it started in Europe and it came over to to to, to Britain, um, and they would do anything to protect themselves and mm. survive, and and if that means digging a hole in the earth and going to some <laughs> mythical land on the other side of the planet, then so be it. I'm sure they would have done it back then had that been possibility. I mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of the things they see, they just attribute to to being, you know, mythical creatures. They see a submarine, and they just think it's some sort of sea monster. Yeah, that's quite so, random at that moment, though, isn't it? I mean, why that submarine suddenly pops up <laughs> in know. the harbour? I don't, yeah, that's a bit strange. But, again, they, they just think it's some sort of sea monster, and they start hitting it with their <laughs> yeah. spears and <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, so. it's quite, it's, it jumps around quite a bit. It is quite dreamlike, the whole film. Um, and I think it's it can be quite jarring sometimes because, mm. you know, they'll be like talking and suddenly it cuts to something else. And But I think that just helps with this kind of, this dreamlike fantasy element of it. I, I really like it. I've seen it, uh, I saw it quite a while ago, the first time I saw it, and I have seen it since, and then I just watched it for this. Um, had you you'd seen it? I, ha- I, th- I wasn't sure if I'd seen it. Um, until I watched it, and then no, I haven't seen it before. Right. So, like I said, I, I was expecting what I said, some sort of a bit more comedy value from sure, yeah. uh, from these people being, you know, far <clears throat> into the future, um, which obviously didn't get. So it was it was a little yeah, it was just odd for the most part. Yeah, yeah. And I think maybe they spend too long at the start uh, in the medieval times where it, it takes a long time for it to get going. Um, and also their accents took me out of it. I got to say, <laughs> really, I see. I had no problem with that because uh, they're kind of they're a bit all over the place. Yeah, exactly. But then, but then, but then at first it was like, is, are they supposed to be in Wales? And then they're like, no, actually, that sounds Scottish. Hold on, no, they're from Yorkshire. But then, but then back then it probably <laughs> well, no, they're would, Irish. But then back like... then it wouldn't. It would have been. More, I, I found that actually quite realistic. I don't think they did it on purpose. However, because no, surely all the people are, in the village would talk the same way because it's not that they were well, travelling all over the well, place. Well, they would, but I mean, so it's set in Cumbria, mm. which is obviously North England. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, yeah, no, I mean, obviously accents back in reality, accents were not like they are today. It was very different. Yeah, but you would have had maybe you know people would have come from further afield mm. back then. You would have maybe had a few inhabitants with Scottish accents. No, but <laughs> yeah. they didn't have the accents we do now. This no. is just, this is for real. I'm being picky. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I'm just saying that that took me out of it slightly, but no. whatever. I mean, anyone, That's, you know, to, to somebody in New Zealand watching it, they probably wouldn't care. And any, you know, anyone outside of, of the UK. Well, yes, exactly. This is going to think, oh, that's yes, a we have, accent, we have quite it? a lot of very distinct yeah. accents, which I'm sure other countries do as well, but yeah, exactly. You know, so I'm sure in New Scotland. Zealand, they have regional accents, don't they? But we wouldn't be able to tell the difference between any of them. <laughs> so. Exactly. Yes. I certainly picked up on the accents mm. myself. So I, yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. It didn't take me out of the film so much. Though. So the cast is quite an interesting cast. I think if you're uh, New Zealand natives, you probably recognise a few more than, than than outside of New Zealand. I think quite a few of them have had quite you know successful careers in New Zealand. Um, there's one. There's a woman, Sarah Pierce. Uh, she's the uh, the mo- the mother of the young boy who's having these visions. Uh, she I recognise from Heavenly Creatures. She's the mother oh, right. yeah, yeah. in Heavenly Creatures who gets hit in the neck. Spoilers. So- <laughs> Oh, if you know how many creatures, you know that's the end of that film. It's a true story. Yeah. If you haven't, it's not my problem. Uh, it was 20 odd years ago. So, yeah. Um, and there's also a, a guy, Marshall Napier. He's quite well known. He, I think he's done a lot of work in Australia. I think he might be Australian. Uh, maybe not. Um, but he was he was in that. Do you remember the Police Rescue? Do you remember that? I do, yeah. Really yeah. great kind yeah. of police show, obviously. Uh, came out of Australia in the 90s. Um, yeah. Was and he was in that. He was in that. I mean, I thought the young boy, um, Griffin, who's played by uh, Hamish McFarlane, yeah. I thought he was really good. He was really good, um, yeah, he did it well. I mean, apparently they, they Vincent Ward travelled around loads of schools looking at thousands of kids, um, you know, until he was down to a few, and, and obviously he, he got the role, but I thought he, was, he played really well. Uh, so, yes, um, we're actually now, it's quite cool now, because Arrow Video have just released it in, in Britain, at least. Mm-hmm. I haven't actually watched this version, because I, 
I, I bought it and then ordered the wrong disc and then had to buy it again. Weird like that. <laughs> uh, and as soon as it came, I lent it to you to watch. You did. So you talk about it okay. and I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch all that later. Okay. Uh, well, as it's Arrow, they, you know, there's always usually a nice restore picture, which, and this is no exception. It looks rather nice. Uh, it's not as feature packed as a lot of Arrow stuff, but it does have um, a new uh, short interview with film critic Neil Roddick, who talks about it. I think he, you know, knows Vincent Moore personally and talks about the time when they were before they were making it, while they were making it, and he also goes into Alien 3 and things like that. Okay. And um, there's also an old uh, documentary from the 80s, um, a, a New Zealand documentary series called Kaleidoscope, which focuses on, on Vincent Ward uh, and uh, around the time that the film was released and talks about the premiere and things like that and awards that it got and things like that. Yes, because um, it went to, it was selected for the Cannes Film yeah. Festival and although it didn't, it didn't win anything, apparently got a standing ovation, mm. uh, ovation for yeah. it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and it's got trailer and stuff on it, um, and a reversible sleeve, as is standard for Arrow releases, <laughs> with some new artwork and the old artwork inside. It is a it is a strange one. It's quite a surreal film, I think, at times, but it's definitely worth seeing. If you you know, if you obviously if you know Arrow's output, mm. uh, you probably know what to expect. Um, if you like that kind of film, if you like kind of cult type films, weird films, stuff that tries different things out time travel and any of that kind of stuff then you know definitely i would i would give it a shot because give it a look. You, yeah you'll, you'll love it or you, you won't like it and uh then you can come and tell us what you think about it because <laughs> we love to know about that kind of stuff so that was the navigator of medieval odyssey and we hope you enjoy this video and the film obviously let us know in the comments below yep uh check out some of our other videos there's some links over here and uh join us on twitter and facebook for some filmy chat and come back next week uh for another video